July 17, 2009. I have an interview today with a patient of Dr. Miller's, a known killer who rips her victims apart. The case both fascinates and terrifies me. Her childhood history hits a little too close to mine and brings up painful memories. With an almost identical background of abuse and isolation, I wonder how we turned out so differently. What need does she have that I don't that leads her to kill? I have little patience for those who use their past as an excuse, but I had to take the case. A part of me has to believe that I can fix this, that she can still be a part of productive society. I guess I see too much of myself in her. It's over there. I think it's over there. It's over there. It, it's over there. Thank you. Just, just tell, tell him Joe sent you. Just tell him Joe sent you. I thought you said your name was Bert. No, no. I'm, I'm the gardener. 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 Hi, I'm Dr. Thompson. Dr. Miller thought I should speak with you. He says you have a similar past. You might have more understanding. Well, it's true I have some darkness in my past, but I'm not so sure I can understand you. I mean, we've turned out pretty differently, don't you think? We all start as a spirit. Some are broken more easily than others could have turned out like me. And you could have turned out like me? Are you familiar with Native American lore? I'm not. Why don't you tell me? It's a Native American tale. Cherokee. The shaman tells his grandson. Inside every person, there are two wolves. According to the shaman, one wolf is nothing but selflessness. Harmony, joy, peace. He runs with the pack. He lives for the pack. He only thinks of the greater good, not himself. They have a society where Everyone is happy. Everything's happy. He only fights when necessary. But there's, there's another wolf. Oh yeah. And this wolf, well, 
she is not happy. She is full of hate and anger and greed and pain. She's a lone wolf. She's learned to fend for herself. And, you know, although she's a lone wolf, she longs. She wants to run with the pack. She, she does. <laughs> she does. But there's, there's just, there's just too much pain. She, she can't trust them. So, you see, she hates what she longs to become. This wolf, well, she kills without a reason. For there's a hunger, a hunger that is louder and stronger than than any desire to be part of a pack. It's it's, it's a big wolf. It, cannot, it can't be satisfying. Well, anyways, these these two wolves they vie for control of, of the human spirit. Yours and mine. Which wolf wins? The one that you feed the most. <laughs>